Well, hello there. It is the 12th day of July and is hoping that you had a great start and end to your Friday. Let's go straight to what made our top stories tonight. President Kagame Laurenzo Chisakedi and Museveni on Friday had a quadripartite summit in Rwanda. And the National Union of Disability Organizations of Rwanda has launched a promotion of anti-discrimination practices for people with disabilities in the country. Rwanda Electoral Authority announced that in this last 2018-2019 fiscal year, it has collected 29.6 billion Rwandan francs exceeding the year's target. And on the international scene, Gibraltar police have arrested the two second mates from the Iranian tanker Grace One on Friday. Welcome to Rwanda Television News with me, Fiona Mbabazi and Rene President Kagame, Laurenzo, Chisakedi and Museveni on a Friday had a quadripartite summit in Luanda. The summit stressed the importance of permanent, frank, open, bilateral, bilateral dialogue for the consolidation of peace and security in the region and as a premise for economic integration. Despite the Ministry of Justice indicating that the citizens have fully understood to protect their rights and their security, members of parliament say more needs to be done. Guanda Defense Authority announced that in this last year, 2018-2019 fiscal year, it has collected 29.6 billion Guandan francs, exceeding the year's target. Guanda Defense Authority says the money was collected as a result of increase of, of prices on some goods, Rwanda Defense Authority fis uh, fiscal year's plan, the last collection body was estimating to collect 1,392.2 billion Rwanda francs, but it added on 29.6 billion. The General Commission of Rwanda Revenue Authority, Bismarck Odenhuad Pascal, explains more. According to the Commissioner General Bismarck Pascal Odenhuad, there is hope that the success story we keep on being hard as the authority embraced the use of technology and electronic billing machine for all taxpayers, but also urged the general public to help the authority stop tax evaders. Welcome back. Thank you for watching Guana Television. This is Guana Television News live from Chigari, Fiona on international scene. Thank you, Eugene. Now, Nigeria's National Assembly was on lo lockdown during the early part of the week after shots were fired outside during the clashes between police and a group of Shia Muslim protesters. Now, both sides blamed the other for the shooting. Police say officers had used minimum force to disperse the protesters. GTN. Gibraltar police have arrested the two second mates from the Iranian tanker Grace One on a Friday. The tanker was detained last week on a suspicion it was breaking European sanctions by taking oil to Syria. The captain and chief officer of the vessel had been arrested on Thursday. All four men are Indian nationals. Well, that story sums up tonight's edition. But before we leave you, here's a quick recap of what made our top stories. President Kagame, Laurenzo, Chisakedi, and Museveni on Friday had a quadripartite summit in Rwanda. The National Union of Disability Organizations of Rwanda has launched a promotion of anti discrimination practices for the persons living with disabilities. Rwanda Defense Authority announced that in this last 2018-2019 fiscal year, it has collected 29.6 billion Rwanda francs, exceeding the year's target. And on the international scene, Gibraltar police have arrested the two second mates from the Iranian tanker Grace One this Friday. On behalf of our entire team, thank you so much for, work, for watching Guana Television. Fiona? My name is Fiona Mbavazi, and of course, enjoy the rest of your Friday. I'm Ezra Numan. Good evening.